In recent times, a lot of prominent fintechs like Paytm, Razorpay and Cashfree have been in the news for all the wrong reasons. Enforcement Directorate ED, had raided offices of these fintechs after receiving complaints from the cybercrime police in Bengaluru. So, why have these fintechs come under ED's radar? Well, as per ED's investigation, the Chinese were using fake documents of Indians and made themselves dummy directors, controlling the operation of these units and getting criminal proceeds. SFIO, that is, the Serious Fraud Investigation Office, has also arrested a person for running a racket of shell companies and for committing financial crimes, which is said to be related to China. The ED also alleges that these Chinese loan apps were giving loans to people with very high interest rates and processing fees. These loan apps used to harass people for recovery of loans through their recovery agents. They used to threaten people to leak data if they did not repay the loan by taking access to the sensitive data stored in their mobiles. RBI recently issued some guidelines related to digital lending. It clearly states that digital lending apps cannot take access to customers' mobile phone resources such as files and media, contact lists, call logs, etc. The person arrested by the ED is named Dorts. He was on board of the Jillian Consultants India Private Limited Company. Dots is being said to be the mastermind of the racket that created many shell companies in India which are related to the people or companies of China. The citizenship status of Dots is also being probed. The ED has allegedly unearthed criminal proceeds of over 800 crore rupees in a long-running money laundering probe against 365 fintechs and their NBFCs that is, non-banking financial company partners. Together, they have dispersed loans of more than 4,000 crore rupees. These companies mostly used defunct NBFCs. After this, in the beginning of September, the ED conducted raids at six different places in Bengaluru in connection with the Chinese loan app case. The agency searched the offices of fintech companies like Paytm, Razorpay and Cashfree. It had also conducted searches at the premises of business units controlled by the Chinese. The ED says that the investigation revealed the control operation of these units was in the hands of the Chinese. These people were using fake documents of Indians to make them dummy directors of these units and getting criminal proceeds. The ED investigation found that DOTS was providing dummy directors for the boards of these shell companies. Fintech companies using defunct NBFCs include Mad Elephant Network Technology Private Limited, Baryong's Technology Private Limited, and Cloud Atlas Future Technology Private Limited, all of which were controlled by Chinese citizens. These NBFCs include X10 Financial Services Private Limited, Track Finet Private Limited, and Jamnadas Morarji Finance Private Limited, which are registered with the RBI. Fintech companies had tied up with NBFCs to disburse loans through digital lending apps. The amount seized by the ED includes a fee of 86.44 crore rupees charged by Razorpay. In the latest action taken in the case, the ED conducted raids at several places in Delhi, Ghaziabad, Mumbai, Lucknow, and Gaya. These raids were conducted in connection with money laundering against the app-based token HPZ and its associated companies. It also froze 46 crore rupees in the accounts of Paytm, Razorpay, Cashfree and Easebus in connection with HPZ. In this regard, Ashish Jain, CFO of digital lending app LoanTap, says that with the new guidelines, RBI has tightened its stance on full transparency along with supporting the innovation of fintech companies. With this, the growth of fintech companies will be ensured and at the same time, the interests of the customers will also be protected. On another question, whether it should be made mandatory for new age fintech companies to submit audit reports from time to time, Jane said that fintech companies should be treated at par with other companies. Audit reports shall be submitted to regulatory authorities on a timely basis so that corrective measures can be taken in a timely manner. The investigation is still going on in the case and new twists may come to the fore. But it has definitely dented the reputation of fintech companies.